Uh, contagion financial markets is a difficult concept that people often um, confuse with interdependence. So contagion is really something that is interdependence that goes beyond what we can explain with ex existing fundamentals. So the idea is uh, there is a transmission, uh, interdependence across countries, uh, which strengthen in certain periods, like the financial crisis now. So we see, for instance, the intensification of a transmission of a shock, let's say, from Greece or from other countries, uh, let's say, to the Netherlands. Um, so this intensification is what pe people often refer to as contagion. And then the question, of course, is uh, where does that contagion come from? What's the source? So here it is important to make a distinction between different types of contagion. Um, some people refer to fundamental contagion, um, which may simply have to do with the fact that fundamentals in different countries are more similar, are related. Um, other people often uh, refer to um, what some uh, to, to a term called pure contagion. So the idea is here that financial market participants overreact. So it has to do with an overreaction uh, where financial market participants suddenly become a lot more sensitive to existing fundamentals. Uh, so this intensification in a nutshell is, is what uh, people often refer to as contagion. It's quite uh, a threat nowadays for financial markets. It is a threat, um, but in a way it's, um, it's a positive phenomenon just as well as it's a negative phenomenon. So people often have in mind that negative phenomenon, uh, meaning uh, in case of a crisis as we see it now and also as we saw it uh, past the collapse of Lehman Brothers in 2008, a negative shock, a negative development is more easily transmitted across countries. But you can think of it easily in, also in the positive sense. So positive development somewhere in the world uh, is transmitted more easily across countries. Um, so it goes in both directions and of course it means that uh, uh, financial market co-movements are magnified. Uh, so global markets become more interdependent in good times as well as bad times. So it is very much symmetric. There's, so there's no way uh, we can avoid contagion in the future, positive or negative. It will always be there. Contagion is part of what we call financial globalization. So we are more, more and more living in a, in a single uh, global market, in particular in financial markets. Uh, that means re reaping the benefits uh, through a better allocation of capital, uh, through deeper financial markets, better access to capital, which ultimately is good for growth, so has a lot of benefits for growth. But of course it also has drawbacks, and that means in times of crisis, crisis are transmitted more easily, uh, so systemic or crises become, are more likely to become systemic globally. Uh, so that's, uh, one has to weigh these pros and the cons against one another. Um, policy can do quite a lot. Uh, so the question here, one has to go much deeper into the issue what the source of contagion is. And as I refer to this fundamentals contagion versus herding contagion, so for fundamentals contagion, um, there clearly the issue is one has more similar fundamentals, so meaning a country, let's say, that has sovereign debt difficulties, a crisis in that country is more easily or more readily transmitted to countries with similar difficulties in sovereign debt markets. So that's one specific example. So clearly the, the policy conclusion there is you have to be very much aware of the risks and, and make sure that your domestic policy environment is in shape so that you have strong fundamentals, a strong financial system, uh, solid government uh, finances, uh, good well-functioning uh, financial markets, good institutions. So there's clearly something that uh, domestic policymakers can do. Um, then of course there is an issue of global policy coordination uh, and this basically means how can we address the root cause of that contagion, right? So on the one hand you can protect your own country but you can go a second step, go further and say what can we do at a global level and here the issue of policy coordination is very important. Uh, now we have seen a lot of initiatives over the past few years to, to deal with that uh, through coordinated policy action at the global level on monetary policy, on on the institutional side, for instance, the IMF taking a much bigger role. Uh, the G20 has become a very important forum uh, where policymakers coordinate to deal with this global source of systemic risk and so systemic contagion. 
Um, and this can take different forms, liquidity injections, uh, provide provision of uh, financial market support uh, to, to governments. Um, but ultimately, these are the two general concepts what how policymakers can deal with it.